With a bold pricing strategy and breakthrough technology, next year promises to be a big bang for Tesla, starting with the most anticipated baby Tesla model, the Model 2, expected to be launched with a surprise price point of 22 grand, up to 70% cheaper than the starting price of Model 3 and far surpassing Volkswagen's ID2 and the Renault 4 in price. Meanwhile, the Tesla Semi-2025 with a price after incentives is only $65,000. Model Y Juniper is no less attractive when the price is reduced to under 40000 These EVs are going to surprise everyone with the new parameters and functions updated after being revealed. If you can't wait any longer, dive right in on today's episode of Tesla Car World. 1. Tesla Model 2 According to the latest information, Model 2 is expected to be officially released mid-next year. This timing aligns with a forecast that the U.S. economy is going to continue its recovery, with GDP growth projected to hit around 2.5%. Employment rates are also expected to be stable, with the unemployment rate dropping to under 4%. These favorable conditions create an ideal launch pad for this affordable model to get launched and explode after being publicly launched. If you're curious about where Model 2 will be purchased, here Here's some exciting details. The majority of Model 2 production will happen at Tesla's state-of-the-art Giga Texas facility that spans 2,500 acres and is equipped with cutting-edge technology. Tesla's Giga factory Berlin will play a crucial role, focusing on Europe's market, with plans to make approximately 1 million vehicles annually at this location. Tesla's got ambitious goals, aiming to achieve a production capacity up to 4 million Model 2 units a year once all production lines are fully optimized. This scale up includes advanced manufacturing processes, the use of Gigapress technology, and streamlining production, which reduces necessary investments for chassis construction by up to 40% and lowers the average cost of Tesla's vehicle parts by 30%. The global distribution strategy ensures that Model 2 is available in key markets across the U.S. and Europe, aligning with Tesla's visions of making EVs accessible worldwide. The price of Model 2 is expected to be somewhere between 22 and 25 grand, making it extremely competitive competitive compared to other EVs out there. To put this in perspective, Model 2 is one and a quarter times cheaper than Volkswagen, priced at 27.5, 1.2 times cheaper than the Renault 4 at 27 grand, and 1.3 times more affordable than the Jeep Renegade Electric, which costs $30,000. And here's the exciting part. Model 2's complex design is a major advantage, with a Model 2 measuring 4.3 meters in length, smaller than its template of 4.6 meters. This makes Model 2 an ideal choice for those who value urban flexibility when parking and getting in and out of tight spaces are common challenges. Tesla utilizes Gigapress technology to cast the front and rear body sections as a single piece, cutting the body weight by 10%. This technology is estimated to reduce the body weight from 355 pounds to 220 pounds. Additionally, it shortens production time by 30%. Currently, production time for Model 2 is 10 hours a vehicle, kind of like Model 3 or Y. However, with Gigapress technology, the production time for Tesla's Model 2 is expected to drop from 10 to 7 hours a vehicle, enhancing manufacturing efficiency. Model 2 comes with a 53 kilowatt hour battery, which gives approximately 20% of an improvement in performance, extending the driving range to 310 miles. And the aerodynamic design of Model 2 plays a role in enhancing the overall performance and range. For instance, a reduction in the drag coefficient by just 0.01 can improve the vehicle. Model 2's sleek and streamlined body minimizes turbulence and drag, and this design draws from inspo from aerodynamics principles used in aircraft that features smooth surfaces and gradual curves that reduce drag. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with adjustable grille shutters and a dynamic rear spoiler. These features adjust the airflow around the car in real time. Model 2 also benefits from a flat underbody design with strategically placed diffusers. This design helps manage airflow beneath the car, reducing lift. Thanks to these aerodynamic improvements, Model 2 hits a higher efficiency. Enhanced aerodynamics can increase energy efficiency by up to 15%. Through rigorous testing, Model 2's energy consumption has been reduced from 15 kilowatt hours to 14 and a quarter kilowatt hours per 62 miles, and that helps lower costs and enhance efficiency. 
Over-the-air software updates make Model 2 increasingly autonomous in terms of technology updates, gradually enhancing its range by 2 to 3 percent. Such updates could extend the range by an additional 6 to 9 miles, keeping Model 2 competitive and up-to-date in an ever-evolving market. Additionally, Tesla's software solutions and thermal management have enabled the Model 2 equipped with LFP batteries to maintain approximately 90 to 95 percent of its range when it's cold outside. This represents a big improvement over previous LFP FPs by other manufacturers. The latest version of Model 2 supports charging at up to 250 kilowatts, allowing for a charge of 10 to 80 percent in only 16 minutes, maximizing convenience and saving us time. This translates to the vehicle being able to undergo between four and six thousand charging cycles, equivalent to one to one and a half million miles. Two Tesla Semi 2025 versions. Tesla is targeting the end of next year for the initial production of the semi, with deliveries to customers expected to start in 26. This delay is attributed to the extensive testing and refinement needed to ensure semi meets Tesla's standards of performance and reliability. Next year's release of semi fits into the rapidly growing market interest in sustainable freight transportation, and that's expected to grow to $1.9 billion by 2028. In the U.S., new regs are driving carbon emission reductions, and Tesla's early positioning with Semi makes it a great choice for logistics companies looking to future-proof their operations. This presents Tesla with a huge market opportunity. Elon emphasized that ultimately, the Semi will be the backbone of sustainable freight logistics. The pricing structure for Semi has been announced, and the base model features a 300-mile range priced at $150,000, while the extended 500-miler will cost $180,000. The pricing placed the Semi in a competitive position relative to traditional diesel trucks, which typically cost around $200,000. However, Semi's cost is offset by significant savings in operational expenses. Over three years, semis projected to save up to $200,000 in fuel costs compared to diesel trucks, and that's thanks to the low cost of electricity. For instance, in California, where electricity is relatively high, the savings are even more pronounced. On top of that, federal and state incentives further reduce the effective purchase price. The federal tax credit offers up to $40,000 for electric trucks, while California's hybrid and zero-emission truck and bus voucher incentive project provides vouchers ranging from $45 to $100,000. $20,000 based on the car's specs. After applying these incentives, the effective price of the semi drops to approximately $65,000 for the 300-mile range version and $95K for the 500-mile range model. For example, Freightliner's Cascadia and the Nikola Trey BEV, priced at $300,000, is significantly more costly than a semi. When comparing it to the 300-mile range semi, the E-Cascadia is approximately almost five times more expensive. For the 500-mile range semi, it's more than three times more costly. The Tesla Semi will primarily be manufactured at Tesla's Giga Nevada Semi Factory. Tesla aims to hit an annual production volume of 50,000 units by next year. The factory is currently almost complete and has started production from second quarter of this year, ensuring progress for the official release next year. Currently, semis are already in operation around Tesla's factories, including Giga Nevada and California's. These vehicles have been utilized to transport over 20,000 battery packs from Giga Nevada, showcasing their reliability and efficiency in real-world conditions. So, how will the 2025 Tesla Semi differ from the current version? Next year's version of the Semi is going to feature several updates and improvements. Tesla showcased the two latest Semis in Germany, one at the IAAA Transportation Trade Show in Hanover and another for test drives. This event offers new insights into the production version of Tesla's all-electric Class 8 truck. Notably, the vehicle now features a sleeper and side storage compartments, enhancing its practicality for long hauls. Since its unveiling in 2017, Tesla Semi's undergone several design changes before customer deliveries began with Pepsi in December of 22. The inclusion of a sleeper cabin aligns with its long-range functionality. Based on metal framing shown in recent videos, the sleeping area appears to be quite spacious, offering a comfortable rest environment for drivers on extended routes. This addition indicates Tesla's intent to target not just regional freight, but also long-distance trucking, a market segment dominated by conventional diesel trucks. In addition to the sleeping area, the production version of the Semi includes large storage compartments on both sides. These can be accessed via buttons on the touchscreen, underscoring Tesla's focus on integrating smart and convenient features into the vehicle's design. 
Furthermore, the Semi's doors come with physical buttons for opening the hood and side storage compartments, offering additional ease of use. Another noteworthy aspect of the Semi is its central driving position which signals that the truck was engineered with the international market in mind. This design minimizes the changes needed for regulatory compliance in different parts of the world. Weight and architecture changes with the truck's weight will increase from 20 to 23,000 pounds to accommodate new features. Additionally, the Semi adopts a 48-volt architecture and incorporates Tesla's new 4680 batteries. Besides, Tesla's made significant strides in 4680 production, recently reaching a milestone of 100 million cells. Given that the Semi requires approximately 8,000 cells, Tesla's current production rate indicates the ability to make about 12,500 Semis a year. This progress alleviates previous bottlenecks and positions Tesla well to meet the anticipated demand for the 2025 model. An equally important concern about this model is where can the Semi be charged? Tesla Semi will benefit from Tesla's expanding mega charger network, which offers one megawatt of fast charging power. This network allows Semi to recharge to 70% in a half hour, providing a range of approximately 400 miles. Key charging locations will include Gigafactory charging hubs at Tesla's Gigafactories and major customer sites like the distribution centers for companies like Pepsi. Tesla's also encouraging fleet operators to install mega chargers in their warehouses, leveraging Tesla's solar and energy storage solutions. This strategy not only supports the semi's charging needs, but also promotes sustainable energy practices within the logistics sector. 3. Tesla Model Y Juniper the 2025 Model Y Juniper is going to be launched in two phases. The five-seat variant is scheduled to become available in the first quarter of next year, while the seven-seater will happen in the fourth quarter. This staggered release allows Tesla to focus on delivering quality models and meeting initial demand before expanding to the larger configs. This strategic rollout also gives plenty of time for production ramp-up and distribution logistics, ensuring that each version of Model Y meets Tesla's stringent standards for performance and satisfaction. Next year's Model Y Juniper maintains Tesla's rep for affordability in the electric SUV market, offering competitive pricing compared to rivals like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, which starts at $42,995, and the Hyundai Ioniq 5 starts at $41,450. In contrast, 2025's Model Y base price in California is much lower. For example, Model Y's long-range rear-wheel drive has a base price of $44,900, but with incentives, its final price goes all the way down to $36,000. $1,130. The long-range all-wheel drive starts at $47,990 and comes down to $39,130 after incentives, while the high-performance all-wheel drive is priced at $51,490 with a final cost of $42,630. These savings are further enhanced by various incentives, such as the federal tax credit of $7,500, a California clean vehicle rebate of two grand, and local utility company rebates of about a thousand bucks. As a result, the effective purchase price of Model Y's Juniper is much lower than the competition, and that makes it an attractive option for buyers trying to get a premium SUV at a low cost. One more important thing is that Tesla's Model Y is just a few months away from release, and Tesla's launched a new promotion for Model 3 and Y long-range and performance buyers in the U.S. The company is now offering a $0 down payment option at signing for eligible customers. As detailed on Tesla's Model 3 and Y ordering pages, the zero down payment promotion applies to finance vehicles when buyers opt for the $7,500 tax credit at point of sale. Additionally, customers who take advantage of this deal will be enjoying low interest rates of 2.49% for up to 60 months for the Model 3 or 72 for the Model Y purchases. For those seeking an even lower APR, Tesla's offering a range of 1.99% for buyers who put 20% down on their Model Y with a loan term of 36 to 72 months or on a Model 3 with a term of 36 to 60 months. However, promotional pricing is reserved for qualified buyers who have good credit scores, and orders have to be placed by the end of this third quarter. The company emphasized that this $0 down promotion applies only to new orders placed on or after September 12th, 2024. Tesla has been actively promoting this offer through its official Tesla North America account on X. The electric vehicle manufacturer has also been sending DMs to potential customers about the ongoing promotion, Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla's best sellers, which account for a significant portion of the company's sales. The $0 down deal sets the stage for what could be a record-breaking demand surge ahead of the highly anticipated launch next year. So, let's see if the refresh of Model Y Juniper is worth the wait for customers in the past.
Model Y Juniper hits an impressive range of 400 miles, and that's a big increase from the previous 279 miles. This improvement in range is a big factor for customers who will need longer distances between charging making the Juniper a more practical choice for long hauls and daily commutes alike. On top of that, Model Y supports a 350 kilowatt charging input with an 800 volt architecture, marking a leap in charging efficiency. This advancement allows for fast charging times, reducing the time spent at charging stations and enhancing the overall convenience of owning an electric vehicle. The top speed of the Model Y is now up to 155 miles an hour, a big increase from the previous 135 miles. This enhancement in performance underscores Tesla's commitment to not providing just efficiency but also a very thrilling driving experience. 2025's Model Y Juniper features a redesigned interior that blends luxury with practicality. The steering wheel, inspired by Tesla Semi and Cybertruck, presents a futuristic design, including an optional steer-by-wire system for enhanced driving precision and customization. The introduction of ventilated seats adds comfort, especially in warmer climates, improving the overall driving experience. The new 17-speaker audio system, equipped with dual subwoofers and amplifiers, delivers exceptional sound quality for a more immersive listening experience. An 8-inch rear display gives entertainment and info for passengers, enhancing the in-car enjoyment. The upgraded mic improves phone call quality, while 360 degrees of acoustic glass reduces cabin noise for a quieter ride. Additionally, the interior now features Alcantara instead of wood trim, offering a more modern and sophisticated look. The exterior design of Model Y's Juniper has been refined to enhance both aesthetics and functionality. The vehicle now features a larger body and new fender flares, which gives it a more robust and dynamic look. Distinctive curved L-shaped cutouts on either side of the front bumper further enhance the design's uniqueness. Tesla Newswire recently told us that Model Y is equipped with a front bumper camera, likely aimed at improving safety and driver assistance. Additionally, the new adaptive headlights adjust automatically based on the steering angle, yaw, and driving speed, enhancing visibility and safety in various driving conditions. So what do you think? Are you excited to see Tesla working on three new models that could all get launched next year? We'd be happy if you left some comments about this and hope you experience the utmost relaxation after watching this episode. If you do, hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic vids coming your way. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.